It's a little taste of the country life right here in the heart of Omaha. Vegetables, flowers, herbs, and more color. The City Sprouts Community Garden. There it is at 40th and Franklin. Mm, and chickens. <laughs> Executive Director Roxanne Williams Draper and Trinity Freeman's here as well. Hi, Trinity. Nice Trinity, to meet you. What Roxanne, you bring welcome back. Today. Thank you. Uh, we brung one of our four baby chickens we have. We have nine in all. Mm -hmm. We have two buttercup ones, and they're a little bit smaller than this one. Then we have a black one. It's called an Iowa Blue. Mm -hmm. And then we have this one right here. It's a crossbreed. And so they chose their rooster in the hen to have a baby, and now they were going to uh, <laughs> have uh -huh. the eggs. Uh -huh. Cross we, the we, we hope. We hope she's going to lay eggs. Yeah. Because, Roxanne, the fact of the matter is. Well, when we were bringing her over this morning, she was making sounds that sound like a crow, uh -huh. which would yeah. be and a symbol of a Lady rooster. chickens don't crow. They don't crow. No. They cluck. So yeah. we'll <laughs> see. And you can't just hold them up to find out whether... No. Well, some They're, people probably can. Well, we people. we have never gone there, but uh -huh. some people. You just wait. If they lay eggs, then if they you lay know. eggs, they're chicken. Mm -hmm. If they crow, they're. But a rooster. this is a full service chicken coop at City Sprouts, mm -hmm. right? Speaking of eggs, would you school us on all of these colors? Because when we go to the grocery okay. store, Trinity, if I open up a <laughs> or, or Roxanne, if I open up a carton of eggs, um, they're all one color. They're either they're white like or they're one. brown. Right. Yeah, Most they're they're the one of those. But we see other shades in this box. So with our chickens, because we're an educational facility, we are not into high egg production. What we want to do is educate people about where their food comes from, mm -hmm. and help them to learn to make healthy lifestyle choices and uh, to eat healthy diets. So, we have five different breeds of chicken mm -hmm. that are adults. So our Easter Eggers or Americanas mm -hmm. lay the light green. The, mm -hmm. yeah. um, our Well Summer lays the dark brown. We have a Naked Neck, a Transylvania Naked Neck, and mm. she lays the cream colored ones. And the white one is laid by our Americana. Mm -hmm. So we like to have a variety so that when we have visitors, school children, they get to see that the, all the chickens are different and uh -huh. they lay different colored eggs. And, and the kids might wonder, as some people watching now, do they taste different? They don't taste different. Mm -hmm. they, they do taste different than eggs from the store because they're very fresh. Yeah. With five hens, we get an egg a day, so each week we have about two dozen eggs, mm -hmm. and so these eggs are no more than five days old. Yeah, and Trinity, are you part, you're part of the internship program, yes. right? How does that work, and how did you get into that? The internship program is where um, City Sprouts has around 12 or 14 um, high school students come, and we go there and we learn about agricultural and nutrition and finance, and we just learn about stuff to help us grow up and have a better future mm -hmm. and live healthier. But this is something you were interested in even before City Sprouts because yeah. of your, your mom. You were raised And you this grew way. up in the city, right? Yeah, uh -huh. I grew up in the city, but we always had chickens. But we got four chickens back in 2012, mm -hmm. but we always had gardens. Mm -hmm. And so this year we have a reasonable size garden plot That's on awesome. our house. And next year we're getting a couple of chickens. So. What do you think you get out of it? How does it not only just enhance your knowledge yeah. of, of food sourcing, but for you as a young woman, what do you think you've learned from this program and the way you were raised around yeah. chickens and gardening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I honestly, I am just proud of the way I was raised. I mean, I just love being outside. It's just amazing mm -hmm. just to be outside. I go outside like all the time. It took like an hour walk mm -hmm. yesterday. <laughs> and I just I just love the way it makes you healthier and makes you more just just happier in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's programs for people, uh, kids younger than Trinity as well. The little sprouts. Yes, we have our little sprouts program. Oh, which I is, love this. <laughs> Seeing their hands so in the dirt, cute. Roxanne, that's awesome. Just adorable. So uh -huh. they were helping us fill the garden beds with soil so yeah. that they could begin planting. There is another young visitor holding Aww. one of our chickens. The Little Sprouts program is held on Saturday mornings from 10 to 11.30. Mm -hmm. It's free. There are about eight classes during the summer, and they learn everything from starting seeds to chicken college. Mm -hmm. At the last class, they have a harvest party, and they gr take the things that they've grown in their beds, and they create a pizza. And it's really amazing because oh. sometimes yeah. kids will say, I don't like tomatoes. Mm -hmm. After they've grown mm -hmm. a tomato from the seed and then they get to create a pizza with it. They say, I kind of like pizza. Mm -hmm. wow. I kind of like tomatoes. You, you have to sign up for that program though. You don't just show up? You can just show up, yes. Okay. Awesome. So your gala is coming and that's part of the reason why you're here today. Yes. What's planned there? So the gala this year is being held at Metropolitan Community College, mm -hmm. the Institute of Culinary Arts. Mm -hmm. We have a really great relationship with Metro. Many of our interns, like Trinity, mm -hmm. yeah. go on to Metro to complete their first two years and get an associate degree. Mm -hmm. A lot of our interns 
interns um, study culinary arts yeah. or horticulture yeah. or agriculture. Well, Brian, yeah, that program is remarkable. It is. It's mm -hmm. a great way for students to save some money and get a great education and create a path for a wonderful career. So it's being held on August 21st, mm -hmm. Sunday from 2 to 4. Mm -hmm. There's music, light snacks, a silent auction with wonderful garden and art related items, mm -hmm. and then a raise the paddle, an opportunity to support our various mm -hmm. programs, our Love internship, that. our Little Sprouts, and our Growing Gardeners program. Oh, we've got all that information right there. Yeah, $50 uh, for tickets, $35 if you're under the age of 35. Mm. OmahaSprouts.org is a website that you can go buy those at. I can get my ticket at $35 for another two weeks, and then I am. <laughs> going to that next bracket. This is Roxanne. another hint she's dropping that her City birthday's Sprouts. coming up. She Are you curious about it? Because we didn't know about this organization until we met you through the show and yep. we just mm -hmm. fell in love with it. Maybe you have too. So log on to their website if you'd like to learn more about what they're up to in Omaha. Thanks for coming. Thank Trinity, you. it's nice Trinity, to meet you. Thank you for having me. Thank you both. Thank you.